Hi, my name is Charles in the sunny Riverina of Australia. I suffer a condition which is eventually will be fatal. It is called OA. Old age. Sorry about that. My project was built into the heavy steel professional cabinet donated by a good friend of mine, Tony. I built the project around three tests of battery modules. Each battery can be switched in or out at any time. Here you see my 3 by 40 amp solar tracer chargers, one for each battery. My project did not require any further battery monitoring as these chargers have a great low voltage safety cutout inbuilt. These three switches independently switch in or out of any of the three batteries. Each battery has a 120 amp relay directly joined to the positive terminal via a heavy buzz bar. This is a step down unit from 24 volts DC to 13.8 DC supply. Battery number one and number two control all my 13.8 volt DC appliances such as my 20 odd surveillance cameras and recorders and all my home lighting. Battery number three is dedicated to my 230 volt AC requirements. This is the master low voltage DC protection fuse box. This is the 20 amp thermal master switch for the fuse box. I may be criticized for installing this liquid cooling system but why not? They were plumb for it from the beginning. I felt if I ever had to overload, it may help protect the batteries, as they were very expensive for me in Australia. Liquid coolant is cycled from this alloy header tank through this stainless steel pipe and connected to a DC pump. Then the coolant is pumped back to this header tank. When the pump is turned off, there is a natural thermosiphon action. I spent a lot of time attempting to make this all neat. These three square remote meters are for setting up the parameters for each solar tracer charger. Here we see two large personalized round meters. These three round meters give me instant readout from each battery. 24-7. This lever turns on and off the commercial 230 volt inverter for air conditioning. This is a small 5 kilowatt inverter for low consumption 230 volt. It can only put up a much lower wattage than what's advertised. It is good for the microwave oven and other small low volt appliances. This meter gives me low volt DC readout. I placed the tools on magnets on the inside door for an emergency fix. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.